In this video viewers, I'll have a detailed look at uh, different fronts in Amhara, Afar and Tigray regions where Tigray Defense Force started its operations. Uh, Amhara forces, Ethiopian National Defense Forces are saying that they have a clear advantage in coming days. Uh, uh, they'll be able to destroy entire military capabilities of Tigray Defense Force. What is the situation on ground? Is TDF under pressure? Can TDF come out of this pressure? Tigray Defense Force is now fighting on several fronts. Around 10 fronts, I think. Six are major fronts. I'll have a look at these fronts one by one, viewers. First, the debris Tabor front here, we know TDF has suffered losses. TDF uh, tried to capture Debre Tabor, but uh, Ethiopian National Defense Forces, Amhara Forces cut off TDF supply lines in uh, Gashina, and here TDF has suffered losses. Uh, second front is Voldia viewers. TDF entered Voldia. It uh, Try to consolidate its control of Voldia. It captured Marsa too. It was advancing towards Dasi in South Volo. Uh, from this front, the latest is that there is presence of Tigray Defense Force in Habro Vorida. In Habro, there is Marsa, there is uh, uh, Vergasa, other major towns. Uh, today, uh, Mahara news sources also confirmed that TDF is there in, in uh, Habro Vorida. If TDF is in Habro, it means it's uh, in the vicinity of Marsa Voldia. They, on this front, TDF has not suffered heavy losses, according to my information. But TDF's advance towards Dasi has been slowed down. But TDF is still in control of some key areas on this front. TDF is inside Voldia. Status of Marsa is unclear. But as TDF is in Habro uh, and Marsa is part of Habro, it means that uh, TDF is there uh, uh, in this war. Third front is a far zone for uh, here TDF has almost uh, stopped its military operations. Uh, Yalo, Gulina, Aura, Iva, Varida, but TDF is still in control of uh, Yalo and Gulina, Varidas. Fourthly, a new front, a far region, Zone 2, Birhale, Varida. Here, yesterday I informed you that Tigray Defense Force launched an attack on Birhale, Varida. Uh, what was the scale of this attack? It's not clear. Uh, we could not confirm a TDF's large-scale attack on Birhale. Fighting uh, has been reported there between TDF fighters and some militia members, but uh, it's still unclear uh, whether TDF has launched a full-scale offensive on this front or not, uh, because there is no deployment of Ethiopian National Defense Forces on this front. Fourth, fr a fifth front view is debacle. Here, TDF was about to enter Debark three days ago, but so far TDF has not entered Debark. In Zarima, uh, fighting is underway in the vicinity of Zarima as well. And Amhara news sources say that TDF uh, has suffered some losses there in Zarima. But TDF says that it's uh, in control of Lima Lima Road. It's about to enter uh, Debark. Here again, TDF has not suffered major losses on this front. Last was Western Tigray, there is a stalemate there. TDF has been trying to penetrate Volkai, Thumara, Sagade, no advance, no progress from Tigray. TDF has suffered losses on Tabre, Tabor front and on a far front zone 4 as well, where it suffered losses a few days ago. But over the past three days, TDF suffered losses on uh, a debris tower front. It's not that this war is over, TDF is down and out of this war and, and they have uh, and they cannot uh, fight back. No, th this war is not over. TDF has suffered some losses on one front 
it's not that TDF is trapped on all fronts. Secondly, viewers, terrain uh, played a role, I think. Uh, Tigray Defense Force is not as familiar with this terrain as uh, Amhara forces and ENDA, ENDF are in Amhara region. That is why TDF uh, suffered losses on their battle front. Uh, ENDF Amhara forces, they managed to cut off TDF supply lines uh, from the back in, in Gashina. And same happened on, on the bulk front as well a few days ago. So, terrain played a role. Secondly, overstretched. TDF has overstretched its, its, its uh, operations. There is no doubt because the TDF is overstretched. If you are fighting on 10 fronts on uh, an unfamiliar terrain, it means you are overstretched. Thirdly, massive recruitments, massive deployments from Amhara forces from ENDF side has, play, have, have played a role. Then it was air strikes. Uh, air strikes did play a role in uh, putting pressure upon Tigray Defense Force, especially on debit war front. On Mount Guna, TDF did suffer losses due to air strikes. Viewers. Uh, TDF has been uh, trying to intensify its operations in Amhara state in this uh, rainy season because it wanted to minimize the role of Ethiopian Air Force. But even this, in this overcast and rainy conditions, Ethiopian Air Force has conducted air strikes wherever it was possible for Ethiopian Air Force to conduct air strikes. And from TDF's point of view, they cannot stop these operations in Afar and Amhara regions. If they stop these operations, it means they have accepted the status quo. And status quo means Western Tigray under Amhara forces, ENDF, Tigray under a siege, and TDF uh, dependent upon Tigray dependent upon Amhara and Afar regions uh, for connecting with the outside world. So, these TDF's military operations in Amhara Afar regions will continue. Whether they suffer losses or they make gains, they'll continue their military operations. TDF has suffered losses because it's fighting on an unfamiliar train. It does not have any air force. In coming days, we could see Ethiopian Air Force conducting more air strikes because weather will be clear in, in, in coming days. But as I said earlier, this war will go on. TDF cannot afford to stop its operations in Afar Amhara regions. It's not that I am advocating uh, that this war should continue. But on ground situation is such that uh, TDF. Uh, will continue its operations. TDF wants Western Tigray and Ethiopian National Defense Forces, Amhara Forces, they're not withdrawing from Western Tigray. That is why this war will go on. TDF suffered losses on debit war front, but you will see them fighting back on other fronts in coming days. I think for watching.